So today's video is a quick little shop with me at Home Depot for a new dishwasher. John and I went out and uh, looked at dishwashers. Ours is broke. It does work, but you can't control it. So if you shut it, it comes on. So what we do, what I've learned to do now after having dish pan hands and washing dishes for uh, two weeks <laughs> is I finally figured out if I load it, put the soap in, shut it, it'll go through a cycle. When it's done, I open it back up. I leave it open until the next time I want to do dishes because if I leave it closed, it'll just start all by itself again. So it'll go through a whole new cycle. John's replaced the control once already, the control panel in this dishwasher, and we've decided it's old enough that it's time to just get a new dishwasher. So we're gonna run out to, to a Home Depot and take you guys along today. Hey guys, it's Vicki Marie and John. <laughs> today we are shopping for a dishwasher. We're gonna go over to Home Depot and see what they have. Our dishwasher's been broke for a couple of weeks and I've been washing my dishes by hand. Not a big deal. We're empty nesters. We really, I mean, well, we've been doing a lot of cooking lately. Yeah, with so, everything going on. Yeah, we're staying at home a lot. We're not eating out as much. We're not, um, well, yeah, we've just been staying at home. Although with just the two of us, we're only cooking for two, but it does feel like um, a lot of times when we cook, uh, you know, we cook a lot, so we don't have, we don't cook every night. We cook and then we have leftovers. <laughs> yep. So, um, but you know, so when we do actually cook, we, we use quite a bit of dishes. That's true. It seems like, anyway, and I'm a messy cooker, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I've got dish pan hands for sure. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> so my dilemma on shopping for a dishwasher is this. Now we're, you know, we're empty nesters. We're pretty, we live a pretty simple, you know, like we're simple, we're simple folk. <laughs> and um, so we have a white refrigerator and a white oven. So I was wondering, you know, and we have a white dishwasher. So when I get a dishwasher, should I go ahead and get white to match the other appliances? Or should I go maybe, maybe stainless steel? Well, I guess we'll probably just go ahead and get I just get white then. Yeah. Just to match the other appliances. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, we're going to go to Home Depot, which is probably where that's where we're planning to buy one. Um, and I will, um, yeah, we'll just take you along. All right. They got lots to choose from. And they have Whirlpool, and they're all stainless steel. I wonder if we can get white. Yeah. Choose your finish. So they have a yeah. white, black, and stainless steel. And we probably will get a whirlpool. They have them in uh, different finishes here, but we'll probably do the white. And we always do the 12 month special financing, no interest, so we pay it off before we get any interest. That's how we always do our big appliance purchases. All right, this one you can make room for large and tall items. This is similar to what we have. This does have that top utensil rack. All right, we are looking at this KitchenAid. It doesn't come in white though. Very similar as the Whirlpool has the top rack. This has room for a cup too, and bowls, not just utensils. KitchenAid, the Whirlpool. They have an LG, and there's a, I think that's a Adora. 
LG. And a Bosch. Maytag. Another LG. Oh, they have another Whirlpool here. This one does not have the top utensil rack, though. Here's another Whirlpool. Okay, I think we're looking at Bosch now. And the Bosch, here's two different Boshes. One's for $9.99 and one's $5.98. They both have the utensil rack on top. And then they have uh, the top rack. Okay. I am. All right, guys, there's still a shortage on appliances and it doesn't look to get better. So right now we're just trying to find one that we can have delivered before February. And right now we're leaning towards Bosch because, well, it's available. <laughs> Some of these others won't come in till April of next year. All right, we're looking at the Bosch. It's $8.49. And this one, can, we can get it in white and we can get it by February. So I think this is the one we're going to go with. handle here. And it's uh, apparently, no, that's the LG. Well, we were not able to get a Whirlpool. Uh, it would have been summer before we could get a, a Whirlpool delivered to our house. So we decided to go with Bosch, a little bit of a risk because we've never owned a Bosch, but we did go online. We looked at their reviews and it looks like their, um, their, they, the reviews were good anyway, so fingers crossed. Um, but we will have our new dishwasher installed on February 20th. So if you are wanting a new dishwasher or a new appliance, uh, I would advise that you go out ASAP and start looking because it just seems like, um, you know, there's like a wait period before you can have them installed. Uh, so, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Um, and tomorrow marks the first day of Vlogmas. So John and I um, will be participating in Vlogmas. Um, he's been in my videos a lot lately because he's been off. He had a week off from work. We celebrated our anniversary. We um, we were we were going to be in Mexico this last week, uh, but we canceled that trip. So we just stayed around the house and got some things done, which was fun. And and he went back to work today. So he's back at work and. Um, Moving forward during Vlogmas, I'll be putting out a shorter video every day. Try to have something Christmas related sharing. I'll share with you guys what we're doing to make our Christmas, the season bright and merry as much as possible being at home. And, you know, we've got to keep each other's uh, spirits up, right? I mean, really, that's, you know, it's shoulder to shoulder, uh, arm in arm. Let's just make this Christmas the best one possible. So, um, so I do have a couple of advent calendars I, I'll be using in the next, you know, over the next uh, few weeks. I bought one for Roscoe and I got a cheese advent calendar for John and me. So we'll be doing a little bit of cheese and wine tasting during our, our, um, our Vlogmas. We'll be sharing some of those videos with you guys. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will and journey th with us through Vlogmas. And if you are participating in Vlogmas yourself, I would love for you to let me know in the comments. And if you are brand new on YouTube or thinking of starting a channel, uh, Vlogmas is a fun time to do it. I started my vlog uh, two years ago today. So my two year anniversary here on YouTube. So I highly recommend that if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. It's a fun way to make new friends. It's a great hobby. It's a creative outlet. Some people do go on and monetize and you can make money with it. Um, I'm not quite there yet, but this is a 
creative endeavor for me, and I've enjoyed every moment here on YouTube. So thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Ugh.